Hi, this is Tejasmini Dahar from Ident Analytics and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the data source of a Power BI file from an Excel file to SQL Server. Uh, we will be doing this by using some M language and it is not compulsory that you should know deep M language. So if you see here under edit queries in the data source settings, we can change the excel from uh, we can change the data source from excel to other options such as access database csv json and other things but not in sql server so to do this we will have to go to edit queries and uh, uh, here you can see the data source is excel so to get the data from uh, SQL Server, I will just click on new source and get um, SQL Server's table which I want. So I will insert the name of the server and database name is not compulsory over here, it is optional. You can you can skip this and click on ok here after inserting the credentials you will be able to see the list of databases and the related tables so i'm going to select the database source and my table is quantity i'll just click it and click ok so you can see here my table would be loaded over here so what we have to do is go to excel edit advanced editor and uh, I'll just need to copy this M language code and go to uh, my Excel source advanced editor and here you will see the source which is Excel uh, and other things such as promoted headers change type etc which is important when we get the data from an Excel file uh, in SQL Server, it is not needed because the tables are uh, well defined. The columns names, the column headers are well defined over there and their data type as well. So I will just delete uh, these things from here and uh, paste the M language which we had copied. So uh, make sure you uh, put a comma over here so that the link doesn't break and uh, uh, here I will need to name the last step which is DBO quantity uh, which is the same name as over here and it should be exactly same and we would be ready to go just click done and we would be done with the uh, thing now as you can see my Excel has been changed to my uh, the SQL Server data and we can delete this thing as we don't need it now. Just close and apply this and uh, look at the uh, data source. So when I go to data source, uh, I will uh, see that my Excel is changed to SQL. So this was a quick video on how to change the data source from Excel to SQL Server. So uh, make sure you like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel for more Power BI content. Thank you.